When your system is set up for Provider Complete, you will begin the electronic billing process by clicking the Insurance Billing tab and then click the Automatic Billing sub-tab. Here you will see a single entry for the Change Health Provider Complete option. You want to place a check mark next to this entry. To the right, you will also notice an option for Receive Reports and Print Summary. You would check the Receive Reports option if you would only like to download any available reports and or ERAs without sending any claims. Whenever you send claims, the system automatically downloads any available reports and ERAs, so if you are performing billing on a daily basis or every other day, you might not use the Receive Reports option. However, if you do not bill as frequently, you might want to download your reports the next day using this option to be sure that there weren't any problems with your previous submission. You can check the Print Summary option if you want a summary report to print after gathering claims. Next, you can click the Advanced Selections button if you want to limit the claims that are going to be included in the batch. In the Advanced Selection dialog, you can send only claims for a patient last name range, a specified case type, a specified insurance selection, that is to include or exclude selected insurances in or from an insurance billing batch, primary or secondary claims only, charges entered before a selected date and time, or for charges with a service date before a selected date. Once the applicable options have been selected, you can click the OK button. You will then notice that the button is highlighted to visually indicate that additional settings were configured for this billing batch. You can then click the Start button. The system will then gather, send the applicable claims, and then download any available response reports or ERAs. The Status and Message columns will display the various stages of the billing process. You can watch the messages as they appear, if you want, or you can go to other areas of the program and do other work while you are waiting for the process to finish. Once the transmission has completed, the message column will display a process completed that will appear in green to indicate a successful transmission. You may also see a process incomplete message that will appear in yellow if there was an issue or something that you should pay attention to, or red if something happened that needs attending to. Many times you can rerun the billing by checking the Provider Complete option and then clicking the Start button and it will go again. And if the error was due to an internet connectivity issue and it will go through successfully. However, if you are still receiving a yellow or red indicator with a Process Incomplete message, you can double click the Process Incomplete message to view the errors and print a communication status report. In the Automatic Billing Status dialog, you will see if there are bad claims that were not included in the batch due to Practice Manager's internal checking prior to sending claims. If there are any of these claims, you can print the report for these and it will list the particular issue and what needs to be fixed. Also in the Communication Status area, you will see the reason why the batch failed to send or what exactly the problem was. Typically, when the indicator is yellow or red, we recommend calling Software Support to assist you in rectifying the issue, and they would either go into this area to troubleshoot the issue, or ask you to print this communication status message and send it to them so that they can help you fix the issue. Once you receive the process complete message in green, then the batch was sent and you have received any reports and ERAs that were available. 